Sally. <laughs> Living with host families has been an experience like no other. Starting from the very first day, our host parents greeted us with open arms and called us son or daughter. There's almost never a moment we feel unwelcome or uncomfortable. We eat with our host families every day too, Moroccan style. Never have I seen a country with so many different types of doors and frames. Every single corner of Morocco has a magical door to look at. Whether it's a blue door in the slopes of Chef Shawin or a hand carved wooden door in the boroughs of the city, Morocco's taste for design and architecture runs unmatched. The importance of a landmark could be easily judged by the intricacy of the designs and size of the door. Passing every day through the streets of Morocco was much like discovering a new portal. Ah, this is for Tamar. Tamar. A plate of tamar can be found at every meal because of their slow digesting properties. They absorb water and are delicious, perfect for a 17-hour fast. So, it's for Sakafa. At first I was shocked that religion was so prominent in everyday life in Morocco, but now hearing the call to prayer every day is something that I don't even distinguish as unusual. Coming from America, many of us are not incredibly familiar with Islam. Therefore, it was a valuable part of our learning experience here in Morocco. The Hammam is a traditional public bathhouse. Inside, you find four different rooms. One for, one for changing and three successively hotter rooms for washing. Most of us went at least once during our stay in Rabat and had a positive experience. <laughs> It's for Khobz. Khobz is a very important part of Moroccan everyday life. We eat Khobz with breakfast, lunch, and dinner, especially when eating tagines, you use Khobz to scoop out your portion of the tagine. Okay. 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 The Kenyan Safari Museum is a very good place to go. It's 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 a very good place to go. This is preparation for iftar, the breaking of the fast during the month of Ramadan. One of the five pillars of Islam is called Sam, which is fasting during Ramadan. 
It's a month during which Muslims go without food or drink while the sun is up. It actually goes beyond that to include impure thoughts, smoking, and acts of violence. Muslims are also supposed to reflect on their relationship with Allah and think of those less fortunate than themselves. The souk is definitely one of the quintessential and iconic aspects of Morocco, and it doesn't disappoint. Thousands of wares of every shape, color, and price fill the hundreds of shops that dominate the winding streets of the old medinas in many Moroccan cities. There are no shortage of sights, sounds, or smells in the souk, as vendors shout prices and people crowd the streets, ambling and browsing. The souk is a perfect example of the simultaneously fast and slow paces of Moroccan life. For a first-timer, it can be a bit overwhelming, especially because of the expectation to bargain. However, constant interaction with the souk has made bargaining second nature, even if I still pay the tourist price. And the souks are one of my favorite things about Morocco, from the aggressive, flashy Marrakesh to the laid-back Rabat. Go, do it, do it, do it, do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Ta is for ta. So we visited two different orphanages. One was in Saleh and the other was in Chef Shawin, and it gave us the great opportunity to practice our Darija speaking skills with younger children and make some new friends. The kids were very sweet. Ein is for Arabia. So, Anjali, what is your favorite word in Arabic? Kala. What does that mean? Finish. Hamid and Oliver, what are your favorite words in Arabic? which means paradise. They're gonna ask me. What's your favorite word in Arabic? Tawra. Rain for Ramadan.
Island is haunted, and I live in the old Medina of Rabat. In the old Medina, you can find anything from snail soup to counterfeit American brands. Noon is for now. How to navigate in Rabat? There are many ways to either take the tramway, which is an express route, costs only six euros, or the bus, which is my personal favorite. It's a smooth ride, which only costs four dirhams. Or you could choose a grand taxi, which is very crowded, or a petit taxi speedy way to go, especially at night. Well, we're for William. What's like the meaning, most meaningful part of your experience here in Morocco, or like the best part? I think uh, it was definitely coming back to Morocco with you guys as someone who's been here before and kind of seeing it again through your eyes and definitely watching you guys go through the same kind of experiences that I once went through with your homestay and learning the language and seeing you guys really take on the challenges uh, of homestay and Arabic. So, it's really cool. Yeah, it's for Yalla! 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 Aji! Yalla! Yalla! Come and open up your folding chair next to me My feet are buried in the sand And there's a breeze There's a shadow, you can't see my eyes